thanks for uh, watching my videos uh, please uh, click on bell icon and subscribe my channel and support me guys for more updates and uh, latest videos and now i am going to uh, explain today's class is like how to uh, install you know cloud connector and how to add the sub account in our cloud connector we will uh, see today's class and practically guys this is the um, uh, your link uh, <coughs> to install our cloud connector in our um, uh, local PC and using this uh, you know um, uh, website I have installed already uh, this cloud connector just follow the steps you can easily install the cloud connector first of all we have to download the uh, supported um, uh, supported JDK version uh, here it, it is showing like 20 but uh, 21 is available 21 will support uh, for this uh, our cloud connector package first install JDK after that install this Microsoft Visual C++ 2013 after installing this download this cloud using go to this uh, you know uh, <coughs> uh, SAP tools and go down here you can see the cloud connector here cloud connector under cloud connector download this uh, latest version 2.17 okay download and after downloading is just install it in our local PC like this it will ask some steps it will ask JDBC, uh, JDK location once browse and go to program files there you can find Java inside Java you can see the JDK folder inside JDK folder we will find that uh, uh, 21 JDK just uh, give that path here just browse this game next and next and it will be successfully installed after successfully installing we have to start this cloud connector I will show you how to start this cloud connector next steps I will show you okay okay after uh, installing this uh, uh, you know cloud connector just go here and go to here you see start cloud connector right click on it run as a administrator okay run as an administrator it will run okay after running we have to provide the you know local host and port okay while installing uh, this uh, cloud connector we have mentioned on port like 8443 here see 8443 you can give any port but i have given uh, i have kept the default port here 8443 now uh, our is the local host now url will be like i will show you url will be, will be like this okay i started the cloud connector now i am going to url uh, local host colon here we have to give that port 8443 8443 just enter sorry https sorry i have mentioned wrongly this is space is there space just here yeah like this it is asking current password current password is uh, some default password will be there here uh, this is the user and password current password and user first it I, I already logged in that's why directly it is came to this page uh, let me close it and uh, reopen it uh, reopen it again I closed and what I said oh, we have one uh, this document right this document go down go down go down after installation here go here this is the link okay 8443 8443 just enter 8443 so it will come like this we have to enter username and password username and password is default user and password this is the default username and password just we have to sorry enter the credential here cloud uh, cloud connector credentials so this is the initial um, you know username and password password is administrator uh, <coughs> and username this some manage okay just login just login we have to provide current password here here we will give our own password you have to remember this password guys for you know, future purpose okay and save this and here just keep this master primary installation save
save this is our cloud connector guys okay after uh, 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 this is our cloud connector this is default sub account whatever we have to here see if you go here here sub accounts are not available we have to add our sub accounts here i will show you how to add sub account here just go to add uh, click on add sub account and the, these are no proxy details are not required just go next and this is configure manually next we have to we have to provide all these details guys and how can we get these details from btp we'll get these details i'm logging to btp So I am logging into the BTP. So this is not BTP. This is our CPA. I am going to log into BTP again. BTP cockpit. Let me log in. BTP cockpit and sign in here. So go to trial home. and go to trial home again trial account and here we have sub account at our, uh, bottom here go to this sub account once enter into this sub account we will find all the details guys these details go here we have to region we have to select Singapore so I'm going to select the region as Singapore okay Singapore so same uh, details we have to provide here it is asking sub account name can provide any here sub account id nothing sub account name nothing but sub account id here added sub account and display name you can put our own display name guys sap underscore cpi underscore trial i kept here we have to provide our uh, username as a gmail id and our password Here location ID I am giving like SAP underscore uh, CPI. Okay, this is location ID. Guys, please remember this location and what purpose we will use. Okay, in future, this is the main uh, thing we have to maintain in every on-premise adapter. Okay, in every adapter while connect to on-premise server. Okay, and now just finish. Let's wait. See guys, See guys, like this uh, we will uh, get the cloud connector. Okay, we have added the sub account here. If you see here, cloud connector. Go to BTP and we can check the cloud connector here also. Go here, cloud connectors right, left side. See. Here earlier this cloud connector was not there successfully added here cloud connector. Here also cloud connector successfully added. Okay. Go here. It's up and running. Okay. Now we will maintain this here. Our entries for N system connectivity. 
okay this is guys how to uh, you know uh, install uh, this cloud connector and uh, how to configure it how to connect uh, how to add our uh, sub account this trial sub account to here okay we'll go here here like this thanks guys for watching my videos please uh, you know subscribe uh, for more updates please share uh, with your friends and colleagues thank you very much and um, we will see the in next class we will see the end to end flow using cloud, cloud connector for any unpromised uh, application how we will uh, you know connect and send the data or uh, how to configure it okay how to add the entries in cloud connector i will show you guys please follow me thank you